So this is how to play support Terror Blade. What is happening to Dota? And why is Terror Blade being played as a support? What have they done to our boy? Terror Blade support has been on the rise since recent tournaments. It's like a virus that has spread upon high MMR pub games and today we're going to learn about it. The first thing that I want to point out is that Terror Blade is a very strong laning stage hero as he is considered one of the tankiest hero in the early game in terms of armor. As he is such a natural high base armor hero, he is actually pretty good at trading right clicks with enemy heroes. He actually has a natural base armor of 8.7 which surpasses majority of enemy supports if you ever try to go for the 1v1 trade. As for the skill build, he usually goes for the level 1 refraction into adding meta at level 2 for insane harassment damage. The moment he reaches level 2, he is actually considered the strongest hero in the map for at least a minute or so. As if you compare every hero with no item differential, that actually makes him able to outright click anyone and most likely secure the creep wave for your core. As for his skill build later on, he usually max his reflection first for fighting impact. Once you max out your reflection, you want to add points into your conjure image next. As having longer lifespan and shorter cooldown on your illusion makes you have maximum stacking potential and it can actually act as a potential ward as well. Terror Blade may not be the best hero at starting fight but he is actually a very strong laner and also a beast at stacking. He has the capability to stack 3 camps at a time for full efficiency which will definitely benefit heroes with strong ancient and big camp clears like Savan, Luna, Medusa and so on. With this potential trait in mind, he is one of the few heroes that can actually benefit the team by playing passive from the mid to late game by giving his teammate cheat like goat boost. This makes him less needed to run around the map and hit towers with his meta when compared to the usual terror blade. Conveniently, he can even stack camps while watching out for his carry to make sure that they don't get run over by the enemies. For the item build, you mainly want to rush your urn first into getting your tranquil boots as that's the most basic item because as a terror blade, you are always near the team fight, which actually makes it very convenient. After that, your next item would always be the spirit vessel into the next utility item depending on the state of the game. For example, 4 staff or even use scepter is pretty good but for this game specifically, use scepter is pretty good against a troll warlord. Another reason of why he is a pretty strong hero is because he is able to stand in the front line and even bring his enemies up to low health just by pressing a single sunder. The hero is actually pretty insane as you can even play as a backline saving support like a venture spirit or even as a bait at the front line because the enemy wouldn't like to hit you just to get sundered. Take a look at this moment for example. The terror blade actually failed to run out due to the moonlight and he actually got cornered by the troll warlord. But all he did was just press R and the troll warlord actually was forced to use his ulti as well which actually makes it very easy for the puck to kill. And just like that, the dire actually has the opportunity to run down the radiant as you can see that the Savan pop is God's strength ready to murder anyone he sees. Another example here is to always keep an eye out for your positioning as you need to adapt quickly and make a decision on whether you need to use your Sunder aggressively or Sunder to save your teammate. This is one of the essence that many support is lacking which makes it very awkward for heroes to want to jump the Terror Blade itself. And just like that, you are kind of like a statue that is always first in a team fight and always the last one to survive. Here is another example where the Terror Blade is low HP and is in the middle of the team fight. He has the Sunder ready but he has to be very careful about what he does as putting Sunder on the wrong target can easily change your reality. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video as it would actually help me a lot. Bye!